Hey, what's up, carnivores? Zach here with American Smoke, and today we're gonna to be doing something really cool. I'm off work today and feeling a little bit creative, so I wanted to first off talk to y'all about this knife I've got here. I got this from a company called Tombro. Uh, they approached me and asked me if I wanted to try it out, so I said, hey, yeah, man, let's try it out. I love knives. Definitely love knives. Who doesn't love knives? Just gonna do some cutting. This thing feels good. It's got a nice little hole right here. I really like this. I am not the most coordinated but you could definitely get good at it and look really cool. I think one of their advertisements shows somebody tossing it around. Don't ever toss it, how about that? That's my recommendation, never toss it. You can never say Zach told you to sling a knife in a circle. So if you get hurt, damaged some way, it was not on my recommendation, but it would look cool if I did. We're just gonna check this thing out. It's got a great balance. They say it's balanced at the hole, but it is balanced just a little bit to the front of the hole. So you can hold it here and it's nice and balanced. But if you get your hand back just a little bit towards the back of the hole there, off by maybe a quarter of an inch. It's got a great weight to it. You can see it's very thick, great weight. And the weight really helps you to cut through things, you know, not to be underappreciated. Sharp is great, but sharp and lightweight, when you come to something dense, like this uh, sharp white cheddar that I'm cutting right here, it is. it needs a little bit of heft, it needs some help. This is a little bit of a softer cheese. This is some orange rind Munster cheese. In case y'all wondering why I'm cutting up all this cheese, I'm just not a, I'm not just a cheeseaholic over here. But what I am about to do is I'm about to make some smoked burgers that are just gonna change my life, hopefully. But this knife is sort of a combination between a chef knife and a cleaver. So it's a great knife, like if you're gonna go camping or something, it comes in a really nice sheath, keep it with you, and it can kind of be a one-stop shop for you. So you can chop, you can slice, you can dice, you can do whatever you need to do. It's just sort of falling right through it there. Nicely done. I'll be slicing this up to put it onto my burger in a little while. This goes through it real, real easy. And this is right out of the box. I haven't done any sharpening of any kind. Just cutting through it really nicely. This is me putting no pressure on the blade. No pressure on the blade whatsoever. This is just the weight of this knife. Really nice handle. The handle is very smooth. I do believe they said it's rosewood and it is got a nice finish to it. Great price point on this thing. Um, I believe most of the time you can find this on Amazon for less than 40 bucks. You can follow the link below if you're interested in this. I mean, look at this thing. 40 bucks, rosewood handle, smooth, full tang. The blade goes from one end to the other. A little clip here in case for some reason you wanted to, I don't know, clip it onto something. Maybe you could put it on your keychain. <laughs> I don't know what else that's good for, but uh, comes with a leather pouch that you can put onto your belt. Nice little clip, little inlay designs into the leather, very nice. Take that camp and keep that on your side. All of a sudden you approach a tomato in the wilderness and you think, man, I need to slice up that tomato. Well, guess what? Now you got your Tombro knife. It's very sharp, very sturdy, very cool looking, very, very, very cool feel. This has a very cool feel to it. But you can see, nice slice of these tomatoes. Did a great job cutting up the cheese. It's always good when something's good at cutting the cheese. <laughs> I never graduated the third grade, in case y'all are wondering. I'm, I'm still in the third grade. Big time approval on my end. Feels great, looks great. Great price point. Leather sheath, comes in a cool box. Doesn't say Tombro on it, but it does got a cool little Japanese symbol. I'll show that to y'all. I'm guessing this is Japanese. I'm not a huge scholar of calligraphy or anything like that, but it comes in a nice looking box when you get it. Kind of molded to fit the knife. I don't know what else you can use that for. I'm gonna be using it for something that's gonna help fill up my garbage can. But as far as American Smoke is concerned, this is a recommendation. This is fully go get it for less than 40 bucks. You've got this little deal here that helps with the grip on the fingers. It's got everything you want. I do recommend cleaning this thing by hand after every use, cleaning it, drying it. Probably wouldn't wanna throw this in the dishwasher. I don't know that the wood would hold up to that. And I also do not think that this metal is gonna be uh, entirely rust resistant. So you wanna uh, wash it and dry it by hand, take good care of it, it'll take good care of you. It's a solid piece of metal. It'll last you the rest of your life. If you wear this thing out, you have really done something. Check it out, I'm like Crocodile Dundee out here. It's serious, very thick, 
full tang knife from one end to the other. It's a pretty much an all-in-one, all-purpose knife. Great knife to take on a camping trip or out into the woods with you. Maybe you want to do a little getting away from everything. And don't that sound good? Getting away from everything for just a little while. Take you some good food out there, some good veggies, some good meat, some good bread, some good cheese. Cut it all up with this Tombro knife. Feels good in the hand. It's nice and balanced. This thing is under 40 bucks on Amazon. It's got rosewood handle. You can check it out on Amazon. I'll leave a affiliate link down below. Remember, if you use my link, it doesn't cost you anything extra to get to get this but it will help me out a little bit so i sure would appreciate that come out of the box razor sharp very nice and uh, just really more than what you would expect for less than 40 dollars so i hope that y'all have benefited from this if you're looking for a good rustic knife to have this might be the one for you let me know in the comments below thank y'all so much for checking out this video remember to hit that like button for me that helps me out with the youtube algorithm so much i hope you found some good information in this video about this tombro knife i know i sure am enjoying it and we'll see y'all in the next video <laughs> don't try this at home <laughs> i've already cut myself once i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i got a little nick right there but it's okay it's okay